Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 27th, 2023, from Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. So in this vision of John, you actually get reference to a symbolic reference, that of Sodom and Egypt. Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, great atrocities, so to speak. And then even Jesus with his crucifixion is brought into here. As Christians, we need to realize that we are called upon to take up our cross, take up our burdens, take up our frustrations and follow Jesus. Jesus ultimately suffered greatly on the cross, and we also may be called by God to suffer greatly. And as this verse names, the bodies were laid in the streets as a public testimony, so to speak, against the world for their atrocities. Verse 9, for three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. This verse brings about an interesting witness, the fact that the bodies weren't buried. You could say the enemy was celebrating over these bodies and wants the whole world to realize, look what they done. This is gruesome especially when we connect it with the next verse. Verse 10, And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. So think of it this way. The world is persecuting Christians and rejoicing because the world doesn't want to hear what the Christians have to say. Why doesn't the world want to hear it? Well, the law convicts us of our sin for the purpose of showing us a savior. They don't want to be convicted by sin and they don't want to know Jesus as their savior so they're happy to kill the messenger. But you can't kill God. Remember, the church is just a witness. Killing the witnesses does not kill God. Killing the witness is just a witness against those who did the killing. Verse 11. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. And just when you thought it was over, the world celebrating with the death of these witnesses of God, God raises these witnesses from the dead, And if you're thinking in the back of your mind, wasn't Jesus killed and on the third day raised from the dead? The answer is yes. So there's a beautiful parallel. And by the way, Satan may have thought he killed God as Jesus dies on the cross. Fair enough. But God didn't stay dead, did he? On the third day, Jesus was raised from the dead. And now the joyous Victory celebration of Easter comes for those who believe. But for those who don't believe, the sign of Easter comes about with great fear. Because I imagine just like the world would at that time, seeing the dead witnesses come to life, they would begin to realize they are on the wrong side. God's peace and his many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.